We are learning new details tonight in the death of fashion designer Kate Spade. That's right. Tonight, her family is speaking out. A sister of hers shares why Spade may have taken her own life. Police say a housekeeper found Kate Spade hanging from a red scarf tied to a doorknob in her bedroom. Her husband, Andy, was home at the time. The designer left a suicide note addressed to her 13-year-old daughter, telling her it was not her fault. The contents of that note, as well as uh, the physical state of the apartment and the comments of the witness lend to the credibility that it is an apparent suicide. Her family said in a statement, we are all devastated and we loved Kate dearly and will miss her terribly. Spade's older sister, Rita Sappho, suspects the designer may have suffered from bipolar disorder. Sappho tells CBS this morning she tried numerous times to get her help. I think women do want something that's interesting. The 55-year-old became a fashion industry darling in the 1990s with a simple but whimsical style. Some color, some texture, some prints. I don't know, I think... Something a little more interesting, but also elegant. She and her husband, Andy, built a fashion empire around her signature handbags. Spade stepped away from the limelight after selling her company in 2007, but she recently mounted a comeback. I personally, I don't know about Andy, took off a good nine years raising my daughter and absolutely adored every moment of it. Police say she may have taken her own life because of money and marital problems. Now, Kate Spade's aspirational but affordable designs influenced popular culture. Vogue editor-in-chief Anna Wintour said there was a moment when you couldn't walk a block in New York without seeing one of her bags, which were just like her, colorful and unpretentious.